Queen has praised the dedication to service of health workers across the world in a message to mark World Health Day. She spoke of the selfless commitment and diligence of medical staff at home and abroad. And medical correspondent Fergus Walsh has been inside University College Hospital in London, which has transformed its wards to deal with COVID-19. And he reports now on the extraordinary pressures that staff are facing and overcoming. In the space of two weeks, University College Hospital has been transformed into a coronavirus treatment centre. Almost all the nearly 700 beds are being set aside for patients with COVID-19. At the moment, uh, most of our positive patients are of an uh, older age, um, over 70, although we have had some positive patients that are currently with us now that are in their mid-30s. So it's quite a broad spectrum, actually. Among the patients on this COVID ward, we met Imran from Enfield. He's just 37 years old and was previously fit and healthy. I think it's very, it's, it's very progressively slow. Uh, I don't feel better at the moment. I do, I am hoping I will get better, but uh, I am struggling to, uh, to feel better and to do normal things. Imran is over the worst. Despite the terrible toll of the virus, which is claiming hundreds of lives a day, the hospital says we mustn't lose sight of all those who recover and the work of NHS staff that help them. If you watch television or if you read the newspaper, it's mostly doom and gloom and a lot of negative stories. But if you look at the response of a lot of NHS hospitals, if not all NHS hospitals, it's absolutely fantastic what's happening there. The nurses and doctors have been inundated with gifts from local businesses and residents. This is the staff room for those who work in intensive care. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much, Mark, on behalf of all the team on ICU ECH. Um, you've really helped keep morale up and um, we're just doing what we love to do, look after people. So thank you so much. They've urged the public to stay at home to slow the spread of the virus and save lives. Fergus Walsh, BBC News. New figures from the Office for National Statistics show that 